Guys, I want to talk to you about Melanie Macko Boom and her recent surge in popularity with the cancel pigs. I mean, she said something that they did not like, and they're spurging out to the point where even Keemstar, <laughs> Keemstar got a hold of this. And <laughs> you know when Keemstar gets a hold of something, it's funny. But let's let's play you. Let's play you the clip real quickly, and, and let's show you what she had to say. Homophobe! Oh my gosh, she's such a transphobe! Oh no, what are we gonna do? You know what? I am a Christian, and I believe that homosexuality and tra transsexuality is a sin. Now, if you are fine with me believing that, and you still want to be my friend, you are welcome to do so, and I will still love you. But just note that I will be hoping and praying that one day you can turn from your sin and find Jesus so that you can go to heaven. If you're totally fine with that, cool. Let's be friends. If you're not, Goodbye. And I had to cut it off there because she says the slur that YouTube doesn't like, but you know, whatever. Um, she's standing up for her beliefs and her views. She is. And I'm okay with that. I mean, I'm a Christian myself. I, I probably wouldn't have gone this route, but I still agree with her. There are LGBT followers of hers who said they thought her post was funny. And they might not agree with what she says philosophically, but they support her standing up for her beliefs because they're also sick and tired of people canceling others for their beliefs. Uh, I mean, take a look at, at, this, at this comment that I responded to and it's short that I made. And it's people like you that I have the utmost respect for, because here's the thing. You understand where she's coming from. You understand that she's not truly coming from a place of hate. And you also understand that the word faggot is funny. I mean, maybe you do, maybe you don't, I don't know. But you knew that she was just trying to trigger certain people. Certain people. She wasn't trying to trigger everybody. Because I saw in her comment section, a gay guy say that, you know, I still think Jesus loves me. And she agreed, and she said that she loves him and, and showcased love to this individual. So, really, the only people getting pissed off by this are individuals who are so in their feelings that they can't see past their own ego. You don't have to be a Christian. You don't have to agree with Christianity. You don't have to support Christianity. But as long as you can get past your own ego and understand that this person is coming at this with love, then you're going to live a much happier life. And that's you're the type of LGBT that she supports. She may not support what you do, but she supports you as a person. There's also another comment from an LGBT person who says that she's bi or he, I'm not sure, I'm guessing, but I doubt these are the types of people who would try to cancel me for misgendering them, uh, seeing as they're fans of Melanie Mac. They say they're bi and they found it hilarious. So here's my response to them. And it's individuals like you that Miss Melanie was not talking about. And I think you know this. I think you do, which is why you found it funny. You're not out here trying to cancel Melanie Mac. Um, because you might not agree with her religion, you might not agree with her faith, but you understand that before she dropped the dreaded F slur, which I still hear people call each other all the time, um, you understood that she said she's praying for you and you hope, and she hopes that you find your way out of sin. You know, just like she says for anyone. Um, so you know she wasn't coming out this out of hatred. You know she was trying to trigger a few people. And so it's people like you that I love. And I also saw another gay dude who said that I believe Jesus still loves me. And she said to the gay guy, he does, and I love you too. So obviously she's not coming out this from a place of hate. So any normal person who's not out there trying to cause drama, <clears throat> teen star, would look at this, laugh, and enjoy the, the, the video. <laughs> and I truly only think that it got limited views because Elon is still working on that whole um, getting the code fixed for Twitter. I hear it's a complete mess and they're still dealing with the ramifications of what the original um, administration of that site had. But yeah, God bless you. Take care of yourself. Be good to one another. And let me hit you with one final LGBT person showing support for Melanie Mack. And like I said in two other YouTube shorts, I don't think you're the type of gay person she was talking about, and you're able to have a sensible discussion with people who disagree with you. We're the kinds of Christians who support people like you. We're not your ally. We obviously have some disagreements, but you know what? That's okay. That's okay. Um, the people who are screeching and crying and boohooing the loudest are the people whose entire life is fixated on their identity. And it's to the and those are those are the types of people I think even you 
can't stand. So the fact that she has LGBT supporters who understand where she's coming from and know that she's not coming from a place of hate, you're the type of people that she can be friends with. Oh no, she dropped the F slur. It's not like LGBT people haven't been calling each other the Q slur for many, many moons now and using it as their entire identity. Have a blessed day, sir or madam. Have a fantastic life. God bless you. And you have non-religious people in the comments saying that they support Melanie as well. And non-religious people are less likely to care about you being gay than anybody else, but they're also getting sick and tired of being told what they can do, what they can't do, what they can say, what they can't say. They're getting tired of the tone policing and the policing of people's words. That's their problem. And it's getting to the point where even one of my favorite YouTubers got on his high horse and called this out. Look at this. Ruin Leon says, if you're mad about the guy mocking Christians, but cheer Dave Chappelle mocking trans people, you are a hypocrite. If you praise the redhead for using the word of God as a shield to spread hate upon others, which the Bible says not to do, congratulations, hell is waiting. Ah, Leon, one of my all-time favorite YouTubers, saying this crap. And then also... An individual responded to him saying, do you want to tell us the ethnicity of the people who run to Hollywood who also hate Jesus Christ? And this is a quote tweet. Do you think Lil Nas X would criticize Judaism like this? No, because Jews are the ones who cut his paycheck. And Leon says, Listen, I would love to talk about how Hollywood hates you and how the frogs are gay, but before that, can you tell me why so many of the Christian faith really love to touch children? Ooh, Leon, I thought you understood there's nuance to things and that you would look at things individually and not try to paint everybody with a broad brush and all this other nonsense. Ooh, ooh. Sons of Gaming says, yes, why do you think certain churches now embrace the LGBT? But the person he responded to, Relevator, said, I forgot to mention, what are the sexuality of those pr priests going after little boys? They're all homosexual. Almost like homosexuality and kitty touching have a very strong link or something. Now, I'm not going to support that statement at all. I'm not going to say it does. I'm not going to say it doesn't. But, because I think anybody, anybody can be perverted towards children, and that's wrong. So I'm not agreeing with everything that Revel Re 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 Revelator, or whatever his name is, is saying. But I just love the hypocrisy of Leon. Or how he does not seem to, 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 to pick out the nuance of things. And, and he... Wants to go after Christians. And I'm like, really? Really? And, and, <sighs> Give me a break. You have every right to believe what you want to believe. You have every right to have your views, have your convictions, have your thought processes. You do. You do. But to automatically say Melanie Mack is spreading hate when she's not... When she's clearly not. Because by saying she's spreading hate, it means that you think, Leon, all LGBT people think the same. Which, for the last several years, you've been preaching that not everybody thinks the same. And there are LGBT people that support Melanie. So does that mean that they hate themselves? Does that mean that they hate themselves? That's that's what it sounds like to me. That's what it sounds like you're saying to me, Leon. And anybody else who posts that asinine statement right there. Melanie never said she hated gay people. Never has. You can go into her comment section, see gay people leaving her positive comments, and never once has she stated she hates them, or blocked them, or called them out their name. 
In fact, in that very video, she said that if you can accept the fact that I might not agree with you, and I might think you're sinning and you're wrong, but you're okay with that, then we can be friends. That is literally the first thing she said in that video, Leon. Do I need to play it again? Now, if you are fine with me believing that and you still want to be my friend, you are welcome to do so and I will still love you. But just note that I will be hoping and praying that one day you can turn from your sin and find Jesus so that you can go to heaven. Who knew saying that you will still love them was a form of spreading hate? Or was it the fact that she dropped the dreaded F slur that bugged the crap out of you, Leon? Because here's the thing, dude. You use the word for mentally handicapped people all the time, the R word all the time. So, is it okay when you call people slurs and not her? Because she never said she hated anybody. I'm sorry, but standing for your convictions means you're going to piss people off. And if, if you have issues with that, cool. Cool. But congratulations on Miss Melanie Mack. Non-Christians, Christians, LGBT people all have supported Melanie Mack on this one. So if you think that she's being hateful or spreading bigotry, maybe you look at her followers and see what they have to say. Because it's not just a bunch of Bible-thumping, holy-rolling Jesus freaks that are supporting her. It's a whole mixture of people that are just tired of all this bullcrap, tired of all this nonsense being spread. They are tired of it. It's getting old. <sighs> now, that's my rant on this whole situation. You can agree with her, you can disagree with her, but either way, if you're against cancel culture, no matter no matter how bad you think what she says is, if you're against cancel culture, then you have to at least support the fact that she's standing up for what she believes in. And again, and I, will still love you. I will drill this through your brain. She said this. Never in my mind, never in my mind, have I ever known somebody saying I love you to be a form of hate. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I appreciate it. Like, Share, subscribe, all that jazz. This is Gabe Radio Blobfish signing off, saying take care and God bless. And remember to be good to one another because there's too much hatred in the world. And stand on your convictions. I will say this because this is literally going to be the last thing I say. It's funny how people will condemn Christians for their views and their stance on things. But yet you have a whole bunch of people Defending Palestine, which majority of Palestinians would want to yeet LGBT people off the sides of buildings. Melanie just simply said she disagrees with you, but she'll still love you. But you're mad at her because she used the dreaded F word. Make it make sense. It's, it's already the start of 2024 make it make sense because it sure as heck does not make any sense to me or anybody else with a functioning frontal lobe all right take care and i want to make sure people know i'm not saying all muslims hate gay people i'm not i'm friends with a muslim my edit cut off abruptly but what i was saying is i'm friends with a muslim who's lgbt have a blessed day